What's going on guys? It's been quite some time since I've done a review video and I'm stoked because I have a little bit better of a setup. Excuse the mess that's in the back, but hopefully you guys enjoy this video. So do me a favor and if you guys enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button and I'm not gonna waste any more time. So let's go ahead and hop into this review. So um, it's like I said, it's been a while since I had done some reviews and I'd been looking for some products to check out for quite some time because I hadn't done anything in quite some time. And um, I had been looking at the, uh, what, the ESC sound headphones. Um, I saw Elijah Muhammad wearing them and some other weightlifters wearing them. And uh, it was something on my list that I wanted to pick up. And uh, it was really cool because the folks over at ESC Sounds, uh, the company that creates these headphones, they actually reached out to me over Instagram and said, hey, we'd love for you guys, for you, David, me, to take some time to review our headphones. Uh, let us know what you think, create a video. And I said, dope, um, I would love to create something for uh, you folks and so that's kind of how this video came to be so in terms of like um, this isn't really like a paid video this is just my impressions of using this product uh, for quite some time um, and to be quite honest to be off the uh, the cuff off the rip um, I really enjoy these headphones this is the case that they come in a uh, small little case um, it's about the same size a little bit bigger than the uh, airpods in terms of case size um, but uh, overall, I really enjoyed wearing these headphones. Um, I've been using the AirPods uh, for my training headphones as well as the headphones that I use at work. I'm pretty much everywhere uh, for the last year and a half since they've come out. Um, I've switched cases, uh, but pretty much the same pair. I've lost headphones here and there. Um, but yeah, pretty much the same pair of headphones I've had uh, since I bought the AirPods. And it's been, um, it, they've been really dope because I haven't been able to really find a pair of headphones that work as well as the AirPods. I mean, when you grab, when you buy the AirPods right off the bat, you open up the case. They pretty much pair to your phone. Um, sound quality is okay. It's not the greatest, uh, but the one of the biggest things that I don't like about the AirPods is that um, they get really, really messed up. These headphones get really, really dirty uh, when you use them. Uh, you know, sweat and dirt gets inside of the um, little grate there where the sound comes out of, as well as the case doesn't really look that great. I think I left the case in my car. Um, but uh, I haven't been really that stoked on them because they haven't been great for training. Um, I, I was using the Beats X prior. Those ones were really, really good, but those are the cable uh, wireless headphones. So in terms of being like a true wireless headphone, it's not really that great. Um, if you're doing snatches and cleans, uh, you could see in the other video that I did, um, they just kind of flop all over the place and they really kind of get in the way. These ones, um, I've been using these for the last two and a half to three weeks and it's been a night and day experience as far as using these things um, in terms first of all in terms of sound quality these things are pretty pretty awesome really deep good bass um, not necessarily I would say like beats quality uh, but it's I would say it's still pretty pretty up there actually let's do a quick sound test all right so this is what the headphones sound like at about 50% They sound really, really good. Um, and this is what the AirPods sound, this is what the AirPods sound like at about 50%. And so you will find that when you're listening to the ESC Sound Series 2 uh, headphones that um, the bass is just really there. And especially with the uh, noise canceling um, ear tips, you're definitely gonna get a lot better of a sound. And so I don't even actually have to 
turn my headphones all the way up like I do on my AirPods. I could leave these at about 50 to 75% and still block out a lot of noise, especially when I'm weightlifting. I don't really want that excess noise to be kind of getting in my head outside of like maybe my coach. So my coach is usually kind of standing pretty near to me so I can kind of hear what he's saying. Um, I can read his lips. Um, but for the most part, like I said, these are just really, really great sounding headphones. In terms of battery life, uh, the case itself um, has about 16 hours of battery life, um, as well as the headphones are about four hours of bad battery life. Um, and with the uh, essentially kind of what you get when you purchase these, you get uh, a charging cable, you get some extra wing tips, you get the case. Um, this case is really cool because it's labeled left and right, so you know which one goes into your ear. Um, comfort level, these things fit very well into your ear. They're actually really, really discreet. Um, so if I put them in my ear, and they're really easy to put in, you can kind of barely not even notice that they're in my ear, and especially because my skin is darker. Most people can't even really tell that I'm wearing headphones when I'm at the gym, which is kind of nice. Um, so I can kind of ignore people and not necessarily have to worry about them talking to me. Um, in terms of pairing, these things, I, I've paired them once. Um, after that, I don't really need to pair them again. Pretty much, I just open up the case, pull them out of the headphone container, and then they pretty much automatically pair, very similar to AirPods. Um, and like I said, I mean, I haven't even charged these. I charged these when I got them. Um, it's been about two weeks and I haven't really charged them yet. Um, the case is still pretty charged uh, fairly well. Like I said, it's got 16 hours of battery life, so there's not really much to worry about there. These are also sweat resistant and water resistant, so you don't really need to worry about uh, sweating, um, damaging the, the headphones like you would have to worry about on the AirPods. Um, and these pretty much uh, have been really created and designed for uh, fitness uh, enthusiasts. So you'll see a lot of weightlifters and CrossFitters now are promoting this brand. Um, and I have to say that I've, I've really, really enjoyed wearing these to the point where I stopped using my AirPods uh, at the gym and I only exclusively use these because the experience has been uh, really, really good. Um, in terms of turning on and off the sound, um, it's fairly easy to uh, pause and uh, start and stop music. Uh, if you wanna play your music, you go ahead and put the, the button there. If you wanna stop your music, you go ahead and hit the button there. You can fast forward, you can rewind, um, you can actually lower and increase volume um, with different combinations uh, that uh, the uh, air headphones are capable of. I will say that the one downside to these headphones that I'm not a huge fan of is the fact that uh, the case isn't really built all that well, to be quite honest. Um, it's not the same experience as like the uh, AirPods that have like the magnetic opening and closing case. Um, these just, it's just like a little latch um, that these connect to. You guys can't really see it there, but essentially there's a little notch that uh, is ingra ingrained there. And then there's a little lip up here and it snaps open and closed. So over time, like this case is most likely gonna break. So if I was to give any suggestions to this brand, I would definitely say that um, the case probably needs some, some huge updates to it to, to ensure durability. Um, but these comes with a six month warranty. So if anything happens with them in terms of like um, malfunctioning, um, anything that would be like normal wear and tear, you should be covered there. Um, outside of that six months, I can't really say what your experience will be like, but for the most part, I mean, even range, um, these things have been really, really impressive. Uh, I've weightlifted in these, I've done handstand and pushups in these. I haven't gotten the chance to do any CrossFit workouts in these, but that will come in due time um, with, uh, as I test these headphones out more and more. Um, but I think, you know, these headphones right now are retailing for about 115 uh, compared to AirPods, which are about 150. Uh, AirPods Pro are 250. So you're getting that same experience as you would most likely get with the AirPods Pro um, at about $100 less. Um, I would definitely say if you're looking for a set of headphones to use at the gym, this is definitely a set of headphones that's worth trying out. I know Skull Candy has some headphones that are about like, I think they're running about $70 that are supposed to be in that same price range. Um, also, um, 
Uh, Jaybirds has some headphones that are very similar. Uh, a bunch of few different brands have some headphones that are pretty similar, but these headphones, I would say it's definitely worth um, taking the dive and spending 115. You're not really gonna lose in terms of experience. Um, these have been, for the last three weeks, been my go-to headphones. Like I said, I don't use my AirPods anymore. I don't use my Beats anymore. I pretty much use these, and I'm probably gonna be using these more and more over time because the comfort level is there. Everything is pretty much there that I want in a set of headphones outside of the case. Um, and so guys, that's gonna be it for this little review unboxing video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know down below if you guys have any questions about these headphones. Uh, I would love to answer your questions as well as I'll leave links down below as well to where you can purchase the headphones from. Uh, because again, I think everybody, if you're looking for a set of headphones to try out, these are definitely some headphones you wanna look into. Um, with that guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, make sure to, like I said, like and subscribe this to this channel. Uh, got some more cool dope things coming out for you guys as well as some other projects that I've been working on that I'm, I'm super stoked. Uh, podcast will start back up again. Uh, just some scheduling things that I need to work out on in terms of guests. Um, yeah, guys, thank you again for your time. Uh, and as always, may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. This is David and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.